Hello, Cancers. <laughs> How are you guys? I hope all is well. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're definitely watching my channel. If you're new, um, don't worry about my little blanket um, code. If you're new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. And if you're a returning Cancer, thanks for coming back. This is not a career read, nor is it a love read. This is a general read, so you take it and apply it in your life where it goes. Um, you know, and if it doesn't apply, you simply let the shit fly. It's plenty of other YouTubers on here that might have messages that will resonate with you guys, okay? Um, what was I going to say? Oh, to book me for a reading, email me at the bottom and to send me a donation. Um, you can, um, cash at me. That's in the description box. Make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified when I do readings. All right, so let's jump into it. I'm doing a pre-shuffle. This is for cancer, so you have to have cancer in your zodiac, I mean, in your, like, moon rising in one of your houses or something. You can't just, yeah, so take it how it resonates. Spirit, give me messages for cancer. Messages for cancer, all cancer, spirit. Messages for cancer. Last shuffle. Um, I'm getting the last one, the last one, even though I just said last shuffle, I mean, not last shuffle, I'm getting the word, the last one, the sentence, the last one, then I'm getting chef, <laughs> yeah, the last one is something about a chef, cancers, the three of cups, this is your energy, cancers, Pisces, Scorpio energy, threes is about creating new ideas and connecting with new people. New surroundings. There could be a, a celebration, abundance. So there could be some type of celebration for you guys. This is indulgence, a party, a celebration, a wedding, a baby shower, or a reunion. But definitely um, someone. I feel like some of you going to a birthday party, though, for some of you. Or you're thinking about throwing somebody a surprise party. For some of you to make up for something, I feel like. For, not for everybody, but someone thinking about throwing somebody a surprise party. I hear the word surprise. Yeah, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this is, like I said, this is like the good luck card in the deck. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel is spinning your way. The Wheel of Fortune is um, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus energy. So you could be having someone in your life, whether it be a boss, a friend, a cousin, a man, a dog, however it resonates. But Leo, Scorpio, and this is uh, just about having good luck, good fortune, new beginnings. Um, what was I going to say about the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, this is like, um, for some of you, it could be a soulmate in your life. Because this is a soulmate card. But this is um, fate, fortune, good luck. Um, a soulmate coming in, destiny. This is change. Um, and it's an upheaval change of karma. Like, you've been waiting on this with 3, 2, 1 on the clock. You've been waiting on this shit. You've been waiting on this good luck, this celebration, this... Yeah. Yeah! You got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven is, of Pentacles in reverse is about failure. Pentacles being the heaviest card in the deck, this could specifically be about money. But it's also about just things being heavy. This is... um. Someone come in, be lazy, procrastinate, either you or like uh, an energy around you or a person. This is waste, setbacks, delays, not putting forth for effort to something. Something not being, not no no effort was made for something uh, with the seven of pentacles. Frustrations, postpone. I feel like some of you might be a workaholic or you could be dealing with a workaholic or this is about a workaholic. This is change of plans, but definitely not putting forth effort. Either you or a person around you. Not putting in the effort, not trying, not putting their best foot forward. Just sitting around being lazy, procrastinating, not getting nowhere. Shit get postponed like that. Change of plans. Somebody could be a workaholic as well. You got the Prince of Wands, the journalist card. The Prince is basically the knight in the original tarot deck. Um, and he is upright. This is hero, rebellious. Uh, this is a risk taker. This is a person coming in like on a horse. Like I feel like some some good news is coming in fast. This is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. You could be dealing with a person, man or woman, that's coming in real fast to you. 
Yep, this is fearless, brave, hot-tempered, open-minded. Someone could be trying to sweep you off your feet with a job, a proposal, uh, some money, uh, a girl's trip, hero. This is, like I said, somebody trying to come in and make you feel better. Because I feel like for a period of time, some of you felt like you were failing. But this abundance and little fortune is here. I feel like you felt like things were failing. Um, but now, like I said, we're reflection, reflecting and assessing. Um, you've done some digging, journalist research, and you, you get some things, I feel like. You got the Queen of Cups in reverse, the therapist. A lot of people can see you as a kind heart of um, being able to listen. The Queen of Cups, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, this is someone that gives too much, though. Overly sensitive. It's maybe too needy to some people. But um, And then for some, you could be depressed or somebody around you depressed, being disloyal. This is manipulating and a smothering, like smothering a person. Silly also, but yes, yeah, very smothering, smothering, manipulative. And give too much. And that could be why they're so needy. Because they give so much. But you have to watch this person. It could be a person around you. Take it how it resonates. Like they pretend to be like they uh, uh, somebody that can give good advice. But I see spirit shaking their head. Like nope you got to watch this person. Because they, they manipulate. They use their powers to manipulate you. It could be in a relationship. A mother. Like I said, don't have no sex, but it, it just depends. Um, this person uses... Um, mm, Spirit said, look at the card. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, and I feel like some of you are drowning in um, guilt about something with this person for some of you. They guilt trip you. Because look at her, she all sweet and kind. Yeah, yeah. Kind of make you feel bad for her. That's what people do, make you feel bad for them. All right, let me finish this. Yeah, that's what I... With this queen's energy. Messages for cancer, general, general read. <laughs> Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. Messages for cancer. All right, let's get into it. Because somebody got cut out of somebody's life. Either you cutting somebody out your life or somebody wants to cut you out their life. And, yeah, the Ace of Swords, this is about cutting people out of your life. This is Libra, Gem Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, I feel like it's like a uh, you win through triumph. Do being determined. You may, you may, I see like a finish line in a race. Like I see somebody racing to the finish line, like with the with the gun they shooting in the flag. That's what I'm seeing. Victory, having victory, having um success. I feel like after a bad time. This is on time for some of you. With three 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 on the clock, yeah, because you got the eight of swords. You felt trapped. You felt blinded. You felt like you couldn't get out of something. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. You felt like there was no way out. You felt like shit wasn't going to get better. I felt like, um, yeah, you felt like you were tied, tied down to something. Tied down to a person, an energy, a situation. This is drama, crisis. This is silence, help, helpless, fear, hopeless. But definitely feeling trapped. That's what this bad luck card. Something, some energy of somebody, a job, a, a kid, uh, something had you feeling trapped. Like you couldn't get out of this situation. And your hands was tied. It brought a lot of drama to your life. That's why you're ready to celebrate. Because you cut some shit out your life. You're on the way to making some decisions. Yeah, because now you got you had failure and then you got uh, strength in reverse. You felt like you failed. You felt like you failed. You felt like things wasn't going to get better. You felt like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is Leo energy for some of you, too. You could have been dealing with a Leo, but you were weakened by a situation. Yep. Something was weakening you. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I was thinking. Yeah, this is like a lost opportunity, a lack of courage to even admit it. Yeah, 
you lost the opportunity, it failed, or some opportunity you feel like you missed, it got you feeling weak about it. Like something you should have took advantage of that was offered up with 10, 10 on the clock and you didn't do it. It would have been the completion, but you didn't do it. Or it's the energy or it's somebody around you or it's a kid or something makes you feel weak and like you missed out on a opportunity of a lifetime I'm picking up for some of you. Yeah, I feel like somebody said this was an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm sorry, y'all. I was in deep thought. Uh, yeah, and lack of courage. Like, that's what why you're failing, because you lack the courage. But I'm here to tell you, you need to be strong to get through the situation, to get where you need to get. It's a time to stand up, to get to the finish line. This is self-doubt, and you shouldn't have self-doubt, or someone around you does. Vulnerability, weakness, low self-esteem. And it's a feeling of feeling inadequate. That's what the failure is. You felt like you're not enough. Something makes you feel like you wasn't enough. A situation, a person, a job, a kid, a spouse. Something makes you feel like I'm just not a fuck enough. And you got the hangman in reverse. <clears throat> the hangman is his. Pisces energy and it's in reverse. This is um, detached. Discontentment. Disinterested. Staying stuck. Yep. Ne repeat negative patterns. With this Prince of Wands energy. Take it how it resonates. This could be the person you repeat. Um, and they could have left you hanging before. But it's like about making sacrifices and, and things like that. And the hangman is the energy. It could be a, a person. You know, a kid, a spouse, a job. Somebody left you hanging. But it's time to celebrate. Because you cut something out your life. That failure of failure and being weak needs to be disregarded, Spirit said. It needs to be thrown in the garbage, Cancer. Because you still are the therapist. You still can't help people out. You still are a good person. Don't let um, people's evil ways of how they do you unhealed, um, bad, not bad people. Unhealed hurt people. Because hurt people hurt people. Remember that. So I feel like you're dealing with some energy of someone that has some toxic issues from childhood. And you just are the person that they shoot. I ain't going to say take it out on or whatever the case may be. For some of you, it's a spouse and their birthday is coming up. Um, or it's, it's right here. It's like Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, I feel like. Okay, I'm finna flip. So get your answers. I mean, a question together. A clear yes. Cancers. All right, I am Phoenix Rising. This has been your general read. Click like, subscribe, share me, come back and see me. Um, we're going to figure this situation out with your general read. It's just the energy, like I said, of feeling trapped, feeling weak. But you got this abundance at the opening of your room, uh, opening of your read. So that's a good sign. Uh, and you got the will of fortune. So that means good luck, good, good karma is coming your way for the good you've done. If you've done bad, then hey, different scenario. Okay, um... I'm going to go now, guys. Click like, subscribe, share me. I'm Phoenix Rising. If you need a reading, a personal reading, um, email me in the bottom of the description box. You'll see my email. And to send me a donation, you can cash at me. Till next time, I'm sending you nothing but love and light. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.